Hi guys, today we will talk about open item management. In very often you will find uh, in SAP and in other ERPs that what is open item management and how to deal with open item management. So this question very often you will find from the business process point of view as well as from the consulting point of view. So we, today we will take some scenarios related to open item management. So if I would say that uh, technically what is open item management, it's just one checkbox in your uh, GL master. So if you'll check this one, you can see here, this checkbox need to be applied in some GL master or in some situations. So this is the technical answer that open item management indicator need to be activated in your GL master. Functional point of view, if you'll try to understand, it controls multiple things. It controls all your outstandings. It is going to control your receivables, means from uh, customers, it's payable for like to the vendors, any payable to the government authorities. So everything is managed through this open item management. If you'll try to understand in very simple language, what is meaning of open? Open means something which is not yet closed or in SAP terminology we are saying that closed means it's either it is not paid, not received. So that is that means it is open. So if in if you'll check any report, if you'll check your FBL 3N report or let's say that is your GL report or let's say FBL 1N report, vendor report, FBL 5N report. So all are your customers, vendor, GL, line item reports. And if you check the status position of your line items, you will find somewhere you will find it is there in the red color, somewhere it is there in the green color. So if or third one will be posted. So we are not talking about the posted items. Posted items means it is very simple that this transaction already posted. So we are here talking about the open item. For example, let's say uh, you are finding in these line items, some open items are there or these line items are open. That means if we'll check this report, you will find that some activities or some further activities is due. If it is customer open item, that means next we are going to proceed with the collections. If it is vendor open items, that means we are going to proceed with the payable or for the payment. If it is, let's say, tax liability is there, so your tax need to be adjusted and accordingly we are going to proceed with the payment to the government. So some pending activities are there related to this uh, uh, particular report or re related to these items. So that means we are saying that these are the open items. So uh, in ECC, you will find our index separate index tables are there related to open items management. For example, if it is customer open item, then it is part of your BSID table. If it is uh, vendor open items, it is part of your BSIK table till the time the customer items are due, not received or vendor items are due, not not yet paid, right? Or it may be, for example, let's say GL also, right? FAGLG, L03 will check. So there also we will find the status that somewhere it is open. That means, for example, let's say your provision accounts, let's say uh, rent payable. Rent is your expenditure, whereas rent payable, that means outstanding rent is there, which is not yet paid. So that item you will find in the open status. So wherever, whenever you will find something, it is there in the red symbol, that means these items are open and it to clear. Green means it's done. So all the activities are done. So this is the uh, very straightforward answer. You can say technically one indicator and functionally, these are the uh, activities which something it is there. For example, let's say, your GRIR account. So GRIR account means uh, we have received the inventory but vendor not received. So that's why intentionally we kept this account open so that once we'll have the invoice then we are going to offset it or let's say we have received the invoice inventory not received in future we are going to offset it so if always you will find that this open item management need to be activated in which account we have to do something so these are your functions of uh, uh, these are briefly about open item management so then very often you will find one question that uh, what is the function of open item management so open item money, uh, management is going to help us for monitoring all your outstanding balances. What is the due for customer for collection point of view? What is due from uh, due for vendor for the payment point of view? Uh, whether the down payment, whether we have received any down payment, so next activity we have to do, whether we are going to adjust it or it is related to partial residual, so it is uh, like your uh, receivable payable as I already said, right? So anywhere you will find that this open item management is activated, so something we have to do or something we next we are going to do here. So what are the accounts, in which accounts we are going to activate this open item management? Whenever you are answering this question, so make sure that which version you are indicating. Because the concept is completely different. The moment you are saying that it is related to ECC, so we have series of open item 
tables are there so item if it is customer item is due then it is bsid item received then it is part of bsid table whereas this concept is not applicable in s4 i mean this concept is there the indicator is there in the gl but now we are going to handle the open item management in the same table that is your accounting table or your ac docket table so your open item cleared item so your normal accounting information so everything is part of your ac docket table so make it very clear that which version you are referring otherwise maybe your answer will be wrong so if you are saying that in s4 we have uh, index tables uh, for example bsik for vendor then answer is 100% maybe you are trying to say that here it is open item related to vendor and uh, maybe you are trying to say it is uh, related to ecc but you are you are saying that it is related to s4 hana so that's why functionalities are there both in ecc and s4 hana but the index tables are no more available for your open items and cleared items so this one you should be make it very clear now in which account we are going to activate this open item management so here you will find that all your sub ledgers related to bank account so as you know that whenever we are configuring the bank accounting and where we have to go for the different banking transactions related to payment collection so in that case sub ledger account in sub ledgers like your outgoing payment your collection account uh, those are like initially when we are going to receive the funds those accounts are going to initially whether it is going to debit or credit so i'm this sub accounts so in this sub accounts we have to activate open item management so that through the reconciliation or when we will upload the ebs there you will find that this item will be cleared after completing the bank reconciliation so this is one example your uh, tax payable so in tax payable after adjusting the sales tax with your output uh, input tax or your input uh, uh, output tax need to be adjusted within input tax after that we are going to make the payment so they are also you are going to activate another one freight clearing account grir account where we have received the inventories but we have not received the invoice so they are also you need to activate uh, the uh, open item management indicator so uh, to understand this one let's take one example in S uh, sap and this one again i'm going to show you some customer open items which that means the items are due and that we are going to clear through the ebs so you will get the idea about the open item and cleared items but of course i'm going to show this one in s4 system but in ecc also you will get the same functionality but as i said you need to remember this uh, tables here i'm going to show you in the ac docket table both open items and cleared item now you can see here uh, first check these two line items and what is the status here that is in red so that means these items are not at receipt and this is related to my customer open items or customer due invoices which are not at due if you check this particular gl account so here you can see it's posted so this is my bank account but it is not the sub account so i said that in sub accounts we need to activate the open item uh, management option but this is sub account this is your main bank account or this is the bank account which we are going to show in the balance sheet after reconciliation so right now if you'll see this bank balance is showing that 16169.88 and uh, it is reconciled balance and here we have two open items are there and these two open items document number 18001 18002 these two documents it is there in your ac docket table but ac docket table we have the accounting information so this is not only the customer open items accounting informations like your revenue and all it is there and uh, this data i have extracted from ac docket table and you can see this same two documents 18001 and 18002 and this yellow color highlighted uh, fields are that open item this item is open means due for collection 18001 and uh, uh, if you we'll check the amount it is the same and the clearing informations are not at there that means the items not at received so once we will receive it then after that we are going to process the collection and automatically it will convert into clearing items and in uh, s4 both your open items and uh, clearing items are part of your ac docket table along with your accounting uh, document now here uh, uh, as for our receivable team record it's showing that these two items are still open means it is due for collection whereas the treasury department updated that this there is one payment received from customer so two line items total payment is due 3200 but it is only from one customer 26 account number and uh, one amount received directly from customer in our bank account that is 3200 so 3200 already customer made the payment and it is obvious they have two open items so they are not going to do two transactions if already due and they want to make the payment in one day so it is a normal practice both the line items will be cleared with one payment transaction it is there in our bank account so obviously it is there in the bank account means it is there in the bank statement but receivable team they 
they are having still the open items both the items are still there in the open mode which is not yet received as per receivable team whereas as per treasury department they have already received the fund so now the r r to r team or the your record report team so they are going to clear these two items and they will update to the receivable team so in sap as it is integrated erp so no one is going to manually update anything the moment they are going to process the reconciliation or they will process the bank reconciliation automatically both the line items will be cleared because here funds already received so that's why receivable team is not going to make any collection entry in the system so i'm also going to do the same thing so i have prepared one bank statement so that same bank statement i will upload in the system and let's see with that uploading uh, uh, once we will upload it whether we are going to have this both the open items will convert to clear items or not so this is the concept here open item management so now we have the open items now we are going to clear it but this clearing is not through the collection rather this clearing is through the bank reconciliation okay let me show you here the bank statement which i have prepared you can see and other details related to bank statement mt940 format and what is your open status right uh, sorry opening balance here so opening balance as per my gl account as for sap it's 16169 same i have updated here then there is one transaction so this transaction is 3200 transaction means it is banking transaction so bank is already updated credited with 3200 and that we are going to clear here so once as per the bank statement the closing balance is 19369.88 opening balance is 16169 this is the data which we have received from the bank in the form of bank statement this is the data in our sap system and in our sap system or in our internal system it's showing that opening uh, the balance right now bank balance is 16169.88 whereas here the closing balance is 19369.88 and difference is 3200 that already received here in bank but in our receivable team they are reporting that they have two open items are there which is not yet received from customer so now i'm going to clear these open items these two open items not through collection as collection done already or bank funds received so that's why on the basis of bank statement i'm going to clear it so go to the transaction code double f underscore five to process the bank reconciliation here we will select the bank statement we will upload the bank statement right and i'm going to upload the bank statement this bank statement we will upload it is there in my desktop so i will select that and i'm going to execute it very simple with this execution you will find that So I'm going to refresh it. Now you can see there is no open items. So items are converted into cleared items. 3200 we have received from the bank or it is there in the bank statement. Now if I'm going to refresh here, so now what is my closing balance? That closing balance is 19,369.88. That means my uh, this bank account is updated, but this account is not your open uh, open item or this account is not related to open item man management because it's a normal GL account where you will find the status as posted status. So 3200 3, here added or debited, which already we have received in the bank. So that's why this particular GL account updated here. Okay, so one item is 2100. You can see here the two invoices, 18001, 18002. So both the documents or both the open items. Now, what is the status? Status is converted into green. So initially it was in red mode. So that time it was receivable due for uh, I mean collection due for collection but now as we have received the funds or already received the fund we cleared it through the bank reconciliation so we got here the document number this is our clearing document so document number is 14007 and this is my updated here so clearing document both the items 18001 and 18002 cleared because of this clearing document 14007 so who posted this document no one through the bank reconciliation we cleared it and both the line items converted into cleared items so this is one of the best example where you can use that but this is not the only one example where open item management is activated as i said so many uh, scenarios are there so you can try those so open item if you are going to get any question on this one so answer will be simple wherever we have to do something next maybe a collection maybe payment maybe clearing so that will be on, on in that case open item management will be activated 
So if you have any scenario related to open item management or if you are facing an issue, feel free to mail me. So I will create that scenario and I will show you here. Thank you.